So tonight I am scheduled for blood bank department and the blood banker is also responsible for microbiology department as well. So I'm working for two departments. Um, most nights it's not too bad, but tonight seems like I'm going to be a little busy. I already have a patient in labor and delivery that is having symptomatic anemia and she has history of anti-M, so she has a history of an antibody and we do not want to <laughs> set her off for reaction. We just validated the immediate spin cross match on the orthovision, so we do the immediate spin and the AHG phases on the orthovision. And I do not have to do them at the bench, so I just think that's the coolest thing. <laughs> okay, so I did the cross matches and thankfully they were compatible, so once um, I put the results in the system, I'm going to call labor and delivery and let them know that uh, the units of blood are, are ready. I have been jumping back and forth between blood bank and micro. <laughs> so a lot of testing between both departments. Even though it's night shift, it's supposed to be less busy, but got a lot going on. Okay, so I have another patient um, that needs blood. They came in through the ER for symptomatic anemia as well. I will do the confirmation and then set up two units for them. screen for a patient's type of screen. They just came into the ER. So I'm going to do panel interpretation for uh, the screening panel. And then after that, I can run my panel A cells. Okay, so this is my screening panel. And from the looks of it, it's either a, I think it's either a D, anti-D, or WA or JKA. <laughs> so I'm basically just going to create an order and go down until I see now save and Okay, so after doing my whole panel, um, it ended up being anti-D. So I looked into Epic and the patient had a Rogam shot. It's passively acquired anti-D. Program. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get started on maintenance just in case I get any more typing screens. I want to make sure that my QC is either done or at least running <laughs> so they're not waiting too long on results. So the orthovision, the analyzer, also needs maintenance and mainly it's night shift's responsibility to get it all done. Hopefully, I swear, I hope y'all can hear me. This thing, <laughs> this damn analyzer is so loud. <laughs> it's mainly just looking at the reagents that are on and making sure that they are not expired or that um, they're out of stability. And then for tonight, all I have to do is daily maintenance. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with that. blood cultures and um, a lot of COVID testing to run on the Cepheid and on the Avid analyzers. So kind of in micro for the rest of the night unless um, I get some orders in here for blood bank. But yeah, once I finish my QC and stuff, it's not that bad after that. But this is the freezer where we keep all of our plasma and cryo products 
And then here is the refrigerator for blood and thawed plasma. Then this fridge is for ingredients. Um, and I just want you to come over here. I'm gonna show you this side. Um, but yeah, this is what a frozen unit of plasma looks like, if you didn't know. <laughs> This is what our cryo looks like. Um, so, yeah. Old nag up here, old pause up there. And then A pause, B pause, B nag, A nag. These are like reagents for the fourth division. We keep a lot of in-house reagents. We don't really send anything out to Red Cross. All the hard stuff is done here. <laughs> Just good experience, I'm not gonna lie. But sometimes it's a little stressful. It's a little stressful. <laughs> I told y'all it's gonna be a busy night. So I have two more patients that came in through the ER. One is actually bleeding. The other has some, is symptomatic anemia. Um, the one that's bleeding, their hemoglobin is critical. It's like 4.6. They also need confirmation because we don't have another type in, on file for them. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and set up four units, two for each patient. <laughs> so they just picked up that blood um, from for that patient in the ER. I have another patient in the ICU that needs platelets. It's at a critical count, it's like at 45. So I have to order them from American Red Cross because we don't keep them in-house. So I'm gonna put in an order for them to come stat. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> they come before my shift change or after. <laughs> Hot off the press, I have a RHIG workup. So this is an RHIG immune globulin with an ABRH included. So this is to see how much Rogam the patient gets. <laughs> Usually a pregnant mom that is RH negative. The baby might be RH positive. This is to prevent the mom from being sensitized the baby's RH positive cells. Waiting on that sample so I can do that work up. And yeah. So I am home. I had to make sure I made it home. Because I was getting really tired when I got ready to leave. I think next week, since I'm past the point of training, I begin my competencies for all departments. And I also get my first CAP survey for blood bank. So that should be a little exciting. I'm a little nervous because I think at this point I'm expected to know what I'm doing, kind of like be competent. <laughs> but yeah, I'm getting really sleepy now. So I'm going to um, go inside and get something to eat and <laughs> figure out what I'm going to do with my first day off because we are at the end of the week. So I don't have to go back to work tonight. I'm not going back for another two nights. So yes, I'll talk to y'all later.